much. And in other local news, you'd know his voice anywhere. Johnny Randolph with Wacky Radio. He was a Louisville leader in the radio field. Randolph passed away yesterday. Kristen Goodwillie shares his love for everything radio and his listeners love for him. John loved radio. He loved music and he loved thinking of the next big thing to do in radio. He was very good at it. Oh, what a day it is. In the 60s and 70s, the frequency was either tuned to WKLO or Wacky, both stations Johnny Randolph worked for. When John first came to Louisville, he worked for WKLO radio, and that's where I first met him. I worked with him when he was doing evenings uh, and I was doing news. But that wasn't the last time they'd worked together. WHAS 11 meteorologist Reed Yaden was news director at Wacky, while Johnny was the program director. You could always tell a radio station that John had anything to do with because there were a few technical things that John would do that would make the radio station sound like no other. It involved the modulation levels and the different ways of achieving it. The engineers didn't like it all the time, but and that never stopped John. Often getting the jump on new releases, known for his sharp ear. Most of all, I think about his knowledge of music and what was going to be a hit record. John had a very good ear for picking the hits. Rising as a powerhouse and mentoring many well-known DJs. John was an innovator. Johnny Randolph died on Thursday, according to Wacky's general manager. He had come back to work at the station again. I think he lived and breathed radio 24 hours a day. And, and it's great that everything became full circle for John. It is WAKY Love and Music OJ. Leaving behind Mikey. his Louisville legacy, his voice and zany personality streaming into homes across the country. He loved radio right up till the very, very, very end. John, John was radio. Kristen Goodwillie, WHAS 11 News.